Hey everybody, welcome back. So, my name is Jeremy. Today we're going to be working on the new Bassy box. This is going to be one of the Frontiersmen out of that for Malfo 3rd edition, so check it out. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the first figure from the Bassy box. This is the uh, newest faction for Malifo for the M3E. This is one of the Frontiersmen. For here I'm going to start off with a base tone of Rose Brown by Vallejo. And oh no. Oops. Alright now that she's actually secure on here. I am going to go over the whole thing with a army painter wash. This is the soft tone wash. And once that's dry I'm going to go over with a uh, light flesh tone and mix it with the rose brown and kind of blend those highlights and start trying to make some smoother transitions on her skin. Overall this process is going to take a while because I'm kind of working back and forth on the highlights. I'm taking it down to shadow and then building back up the highlight. So what I'm going to do is while I'm doing the shadows I'm going to make the eye sockets darker and start painting in the eyes and then go back through and do highlights on the the top parts of the skin. So now on our poncho I'm going to do it red and what I did is I took some uh, coat to arms and it is a brick red number 509 that's what I'm going to use as a base coat for this and I'm going to mix between the coat d'arms brick tone coat d'arms vampire red and coat d'arms blood red I'm going to put that on my wet, wet palette and transition it to where I have steps across those three. Uh, that way I can start really building up the highlights on her poncho. So on this highlight, I'm going to cover most of what I already painted with the base tone. This one's the mixture of the vampire red and the brick red. I'm just leaving the deepest of the recesses exposed. So here's a quick peek at my wet palette. I'm trying to show you how I, I blend it across there. And I'm just taking a little bit from each of this, each of those steps. Every time I do, I'm going to cover less and less ground than I did before. And uh, hopefully we could get this a smooth transition to the highlights. So once I have it built up enough to where I'm basically going with the vampire red almost straight at this point, this is going to be the top highlight that I want to do. So on her poncho on the base, I want to I want to try and do a little bit of a design on it. So I'm going to go through and darken down the brick red and start painting a transition line, almost like a seam right here. That way I know to keep the pattern basically at that at that spot. So from there I just went through and added darker lines. I took some of the the vampire red and bumped it up a little bit with the flesh tone. And uh, that's going to be my peak highlight on the, on the uh, hems. Now for her hair I, I want it more of a really dark brown. So uh, I took the, the base black that there is and I am going to start painting into like a uh, Vallejo's Hall Red and build it up to a, a lighter brown in some spots. So 
So I'm going to take some Master Series Paint Buckskin and that's what's going to be the base coat for her, her chaps here. Now I'm going to take a mid-tone wash by uh, Army Painter and go over the whole thing. I'll take that buckskin and build some highlights up again after this uh, this wash dries. So from here I'm going to take a darker brown and start painting in these straps that are holding on like the hatchet and her uh, holster. I'm also going to take some uh, dark star pewter color and dry brush the gun. So what I have for the base is basically a piece of cork. I didn't really like the way the top texture looked. So I took a mixture of PVA glue, some Vallejo's Desert Yellow, and a little bit of tile grout and mix that all together. And basically I want to paint that on just to get more of a more of a sandy texture. So once the base is dried and the tile grout and everything is completely dried, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, some lichen and break it up into really small pieces and use that as the lichen I have is almost like a sage color so I think that'll simulate some Alright, so once we get that glued down with the uh, PVA glue, I am think I'm about ready. Uh, I'm pleased with the way it turns out. It, it does look like a desert to me, so as always, I appreciate you. Make sure and uh, subscribe and tune back in. Thank you.